Hello everyone, Carson here, and welcome back to my channel. Now, in today's video, I am actually going to be telling you why I don't recommend AWS or Amazon Web Services web hosting for the majority of my customers and clients. Now, in case you're not familiar with AWS, essentially it's a hosting platform created and essentially serviced by Amazon.com, hence the name Amazon Web Services. Now, Amazon Web Services is very, very big and very popular as well. But there are a few distinct reasons why I actually suggest people to use other different types of web hosting platforms as opposed to AWS. Now, AWS can provide multiple types of hosting, but the important thing to note is that these types of hosting are by far very technologically advanced and not really easy to use, not easy to set up. When you buy a shared hosting plan with a host like Bluehost, which by the way, I will leave a link to in the description at a special discount if you want to check them out. When you do buy a plan with a host like that, it's basically plug and play. They help you walk through every single bit of the process so you don't really have to worry about getting anything wrong or trying to figure out any of the technical aspects of it. However, with Amazon Web Services, they serve a very specific niche of much less larger businesses with much more technologically advanced requirements essentially. AWS is by no means meant to be a web hosting service for the normal person. And because of this, it's really, really not beneficial for you as much as you would want to try it out maybe, or think that it's beneficial because it's more of a core hosting provider. It really isn't. Amazon Web Services actually, as I said before, is a very niche service. It's made to provide services to a few types of people. Number one, of course, large, large businesses. If you're a very large business with many, many resource requirements, Amazon Web Services could be for you. If alternatively you are a very large business with a lot of customizations which you need to do to your hosting plan, Amazon Web Services once again could be for you. Other than these two categories though, Amazon Web Services just really isn't beneficial to people to use, at least from what I've found. In my opinion, it's much better to go with a host like Bluehost or Hostinger and use those platforms to provide your services for yourself and to pick up the plan. I mean, if you're going for a VPS with Amazon Web Services, which is one of their key services they provide, you can easily get a VPS on a service like Bluehost with an automatic setup and with a lot of technical support as well as very top quality customer support and documentation. In my opinion, Amazon Web Services just has shortcomings for anyone short of a gigantic company. So for 99.99% .99 of the viewers on this video, it's just better to go with another hosting platform like Bluehost. That is going to do it for today's video though, so remember to leave a like, subscribe, and of course hit that notification bell, and I will see you in the next video.